In this video, we will discuss block storage and how it compares to file storage in the cloud. Block storage breaks files into chunks or blocks of data and stores each block separately under a unique address. Like direct attached storage and file storage, block storage also must be attached to a compute node before it can be utilized for your workloads. Block storage, like file storage, can be mounted from remote storage appliances, making it extremely resilient to failure and keeping data far more secure in them on account of encryption in transit and encryption at rest services available on these appliances. Block storage is mounted as a volume to compute nodes using a dedicated network of fibers through which signals move at the speed of light. These fiber optic networks are more expensive to build than the Ethernet ones which deliver file storage, which is one reason why block storage tends to have a higher price point. However, since the traffic is moving faster and with speed consistency, they are perfect for workloads that need low latency storage to work effectively. In terms of workloads, it is important to note that unlike file storage, which can be mounted onto 80 compute nodes or more, block storage is normally mounted onto only one compute node at a time. Since these disks run at a consistent high speed, they are perfect for workloads that need consistently fast storage, such as databases and mail servers. Block storage is not suitable for workloads where there needs to be some level of disk sharing between compute nodes. For block storage, as it is for file storage, you need to take the IOPS capacity of the storage into account. Most cloud providers will allow you to specify IOPS characteristics when you provision storage and in some cases adjust the IOPS of your storage as you need. So if the requirements or usage behavior of an application changes, you can adjust accordingly. So. To summarize the commonalities and differences between these two storage types, block and file storage is taken from appliances which are maintained by the service provider. Both are normally highly available and resilient and will often include data encryption at rest and in transit. File storage is attached to a compute node using an Ethernet network, so it is sometimes called network attached or NFS storage. File storage is very reliable but the speed of the connecting network can vary based on load. Block storage is attached via a high-speed fiber network, which is very reliable and consistent. File storage can be attached to multiple compute nodes at once. Block storage can only be attached to one node at a time. File storage is a good choice where file shares are required, where workloads do not require lightning-fast connectivity to storage, or where cost is a factor. Block storage is a good choice when supporting an application that needs consistent fast access to disk, such as databases. Remember to consider the IOPS requirements of the application when provisioning either file or block storage. In the next video, we'll start to look at object storage.